Are the functions y sub 1 through y sub 4 linearly independent or linearly dependent? Justify your answer. The functions y sub 1 through y sub n are linearly independent if the equation c sub 1 times y sub 1 plus c sub 2 times y sub 2 all the way down to plus c sub n times y sub n equals 0 has only the trivial solution c sub 1 through c sub n equals 0 which means if the functions y sub one through y sub four are linearly independent, then c sub one times e to the x plus c sub two times e to the power of x plus one plus c sub three times e to the power of two x plus c sub four times sine x equals zero only when c sub one through c sub four are equal to zero. If we can find any of their solutions, then the functions are linearly dependent. So if we think that the functions are linearly independent, one way to show this would be to find the Ronskian shown below, which in our case, because we have four functions, would be a four by four determinant, where the first row would be the given functions, the second row would be the first derivatives, the third row would be the second derivatives, and the fourth row would be the third derivatives. Then we have to evaluate the determinant, and if the Ronskian doesn't equal zero for some x in the interval, which in this case would be all real numbers because the domain of all functions is all real numbers, then the functions are linearly independent. However, if we think that the functions are dependent, we simply have to find a non-trivial solution to the equation. So it's worth taking some time and analyzing the given functions. Using the exponent rule, a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n, we should be able to recognize that e to the power of x and e to the power of x plus one are scalar multiples of one another, which indicates y sub one and y sub two are linearly dependent, and therefore y sub one through y sub four are also linearly dependent. To find the non-trivial solution, again, if we recognize y sub one and y sub two are linearly dependent, there must be some constant, which we'll call c, where c times e to the x must equal e to the power of x plus one, where c is some constant. So if we divide both sides by e to the x and simplify, we have the constant c is equal to e to the power of the quantity x plus one minus x, indicating c is equal to e. So this tells us when the constant c is equal to e, e times e to the power of x is equal to e to the power of x plus one. And we can use this to find the non-trivial solution to the equation here on the left. If we let c sub one be equal to e and c sub two be equal to one, the first two terms would be equal, and since we want the sum to be zero, we will let c sub two be equal to negative one, so the first two terms are opposites. And then from here, we can simply let c sub three equal zero and c sub four equal zero. This shows we have a non-trivial solution to the equation indicating y sub one through y sub four are linearly dependent. I hope you found this helpful.